but at what point did you realize this is much bigger than just a side hustle? Like how are you just going to UPS every day or USPS with the, with your arms full of goods? And then at some point you're like, look, I'm going, I'm going here four times a day. This is getting, this might be a full-time thing. What was the, what was the moment you might've realized it? That's so funny. I have an exact moment around USPS that I realized there was a mailbox near my apartment at the time. And, you know, most mailboxes only the door only opens enough to get a letter in. But for whatever mm-hmm. reason, this was one where it opens all the way so I could get packages in. So I was stuffing that thing full of packages <laughs> every day to the point where a couple months later, they ripped it out and replaced it with one that only opens for letters. And at that point, I was like, maybe this is a little bit bigger. I'm literally forcing them to upgrade their infrastructure. I did manage to keep doing this on the side of my full-time job for almost a year. And actually at the point that I left my job, it got to the point where I literally, you know, I would spend eight hours at my job, come home, do eight hours of Stradia and then sleep and do Stradia all day, all weekend. And so when I left my full-time job, it was, I think, six weeks before my 401k would have vested. And I was like, I can't, I can't even make it another six weeks. I will, I'm burning myself into the ground. Wow. Good for you. You It's funny. I want to, I want to shout out USPS. My first company, same thing. It was just little by little. I was going once a, once every two days. And then it was like once a day and I was in Boston. And so it didn't like, you couldn't drive there. There wasn't any parking. You know, it was one of these situations where you're like, I'm literally backpack arms and just whatever I can carry from my apartment. And it was maybe like a five or six block walk. But the USPS, if you have a product that doesn't weigh very much, is the cheapest. It'll give you the, the tracking. And so from an entrepreneurship perspective, it is very cost effective. And as long as you're willing to deal with maybe a long line or you at some point you just know when to go, like what times, usually in the morning, then you're in great shape. And so the USPS, I think, I think it's a breeding ground for a lot of companies like ours and a lot of, you know, entrepreneurship to get their start, which I think is great. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think especially for light products, like you said, like ours, you know, going through a carrier like UPS or FedEx would have been at least twice as expensive and would have really impacted the fundamental viability of the company. So yeah, I am extremely pro USPS. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.